I have seen multiple six figure and seven figure leasing commissions in commercial real estate. But in order to do those, you have to understand those and how to get there. So I'm going to explain a full leasing expense breakdown. We're actually going to show you a calculator where you can do that for yourself and then use it so you can show your clients. And then we're also going to calculate the commissions. So how you can start making big commissions in the world of leasing. So let's dig in. All right, so to start us off, there's a few things that we need to get out of the way first. So we need to know what our base rent is. We'll say base rent, we'll say triple net expenses, we'll say our square footage, the square feet, and then we'll say annual increases as well. And in the state of Florida, there's actually sales tax on lease payments, and this is really only for the state of Florida, and I'm in Central Florida, so I can throw this in here just in case any of you are in the beautiful state of Florida. I'll show you how to calculate that as well, but we want to get these things out of the way first. These are going to be the variables that we need in order to calculate leasing expenses and also leasing commissions. So base rent, especially in our market, it's usually calculated annually. So if we say this is an industrial building, say it's a smaller unit, it's gonna be $10 a square foot and that's gonna be an annual number. So here we'll type in 10 and say the triple net expenses are $3. That's for another video to explain triple net expenses. Long story short, this is all of the operating expenses that the landlord is passing through to the tenant. And the square footage, is we'll say it's 10,000 square feet and there's a 4% annual increase and sales tax in our market it is six and a half percent. So once we have these variables, we can now dig in and start to build out some leasing expenses. So we're gonna say year one and how we wanna break this out is really in an annual and monthly basis because while these numbers are annual numbers, and that is how we lease space, it's usually based on an annual number, but the business owner, the tenant is likely looking at the monthly expense. That is like the number one question you will get from a tenant like, hey, what's my all in cost? What's it going to cost me per month? So we'll start this off by doing both and then making a little table here. So in year one, how we want to calculate this is the base rent. So the base rent is going to be the base rent here multiplied times the square footage. And if it's 10 times 10, then that makes it pretty easy for us. Uh, that's $100,000 in an annual payment. And then from a monthly basis, I mean, guys, we don't have to do rocket science here. We can just multiply it by 12. But like I said, this is the base rent and that's the number people usually see. And when explaining this to a tenant, a lot of them don't understand the base rent, the triple net expenses. So this is vital in order to get across to your tenant because that that's one of the things that they just are it's unknown going in and their job is running their business and not leasing space, but now they need to lease the space for their business and the triple net expenses are an additional cost, which sometimes can blindside tenants if they don't have an advisor on their side that's helping them out. And uh, that's where we come in. So the triple net expenses, we're going to take that $3 and then we're going to multiply it by the square footage. And once again, we can just copy over we're gonna divide that by 12. For now, I'll run it without sales tax. So this is going to be the annual and then monthly rent for this space. So we have 10 bucks a square foot and then $3 for triple net expenses on 10,000 square feet. That's $100,000 in annual rent, $30,000 in annual triple net expenses. And then when you break those down, this is what it looks like. So they're all in monthly payment is gonna be this, and this is the tenant. And this is one thing that I usually highlight because as I mentioned before, like that is what tenants need to know is like, hey, what is what is this going to cost me per month? I'll go ahead and do this because we want to see the way that this multiplies because this is really cool. And this is how you can get to bigger leasing commissions. So if you want to understand what the commission on this looks like, say that there is a 6% commission on this space. It's going to be based on the base rent. And if it's a one-year lease, it's $100,000 in base rent and you get a 6% commission, then your leasing commission is $6,000. So once you see that, now we wanna go calculate, okay, is this a one year lease? Is this a three, five, 10 year lease? And this is really where things can get interesting. So check this out. We'll go ahead and do year two and year three. And this is important to show your tenants as well because most of the time there's an annual increase. So that is what the new annual rent is gonna be. And then if you break that down into a monthly, it's gonna be 
a slight increase as you can see. And the triple net expenses, we're just gonna say that they follow that same annual increase of 4%, but usually it's es it's estimated annually by the landlord and this can go up 4%, this can go up 2% or 10 or 15%. There's really not a set, this is what you know the, the expenses are gonna go up by because it's property taxes, insurance, usually repairs and maintenance if it's a triple net lease, common area maintenance, things like this. So you can't really say that like, hey, the landscaper is going to give me a 4% increase or taxes are going to go up 3% or my insurance is going to go up 4 or 5%. It's really not a standard metric. So triple net expenses, usually in the leases, you can see that it's estimated and revisited annually because sometimes expenses go up much more than 4%, unfortunately. So once we, once we see this, we'll apply the same factor and we'll say, hey, times 1.04 and we'll apply the same thing. And then once again, we will see that the, the total here is 135K. And then we can drag the formulas down. So that's the beautiful thing about Excel, Google Sheets. A lot of these formulas are in incredibly handy. And a lot of times you can just copy things down. Uh, we'll try something here in a second, see if it works to go to you know five years and beyond. But this is where I wanna keep track and say like, okay, now that it's a three-year lease, what happens to the leasing commission? So now what you're gonna do is, so before it was just, that $100,000 because it was a one year lease and it's and remember it's only calculated on the base rent because triple net expenses are simply a reimbursement from the tenant to the landlord for those operating expenses. So since they're expenses and not rental income, then the landlord is usually not gonna pay you on those pass-throughs. So that's something to be mindful of. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take, this is a three year lease and then we're gonna multiply these and say, hey, now we got a 6% commission on all three years because it's a three-year lease. And that is really what I want to nail in for the leasing commission side of things. Normally, it is the total lease value. So, and, and it's based on base rent. So the total value of the lease, that is what you're calculating. If, you know, it's a, say a million dollar sale, you usually calculate 6% times a million dollars. And that's how you get your $60,000 commission. Well, if it's $100,000, and base rent and it's for 10 years and there's no increases, it's the same thing on a, on a leasing commission basis because it's a 10 year lease. So that now leasing commission is now $60,000. So that's one of the ways I like to think about it, but I want to keep going here and see how this table can even grow even bigger and how this commission just can continue to climb. So this is something I like to break out for all tenants because they want to see if they sign a 10 year lease, then they might say like, Hey, what does it look like in year seven, but year over year, this rent is obviously going up. So they want to make sure if they sign a lease in year one, that they can still afford that rent in year seven or eight. And hopefully by that time, their business is growing and they can continue to afford that rent. But it's always good for them to see as they are going and growing of like, hey, what does this look like in a few years from now? And making sure it's not you know astronomical. So this is important to see, like I said, guys, because from year one to year 10, it's a 42.3% increase. So 100, 100K to 142K by the end of 10 years, this is something that the tenant should know. And then also some people include this in their leases as far as like a table broken out as an agent in brokerage. You know, usually it's not our job to modify these leases. That's usually up to real estate attorneys, but it is important for your tenant to see a table like this so they know what they're getting themselves into. So this is what it'll look like as far as 10 years of rental payments and then sales tax. I don't want to be too confusing about that. Like I said, it's only uh, applicable to people in the state of Florida as of right now. But what you would do is just add on six and a half percent to these numbers. Well, to this annual number, which then would break down monthly. So you could say with sales tax and just add, you know, 1.065. And then that would show you the total monthly payment for the tenant. So to get in here and see, hey, what does this do to the commission again? Because like I said, this is where it really gets interesting. I know in my career, we've had multiple six-figure leasing commissions, but I know folks that have done seven-figure leasing commissions on some of these bigger office leases, or maybe it's a massive retail lease. Maybe it's a you know big grocery store that's signing a 10, 15, 20-year lease. And, uh, or it's like an industrial big box, say that one of these massive tenants and Amazon is going in, you know, 700,000 square feet. Those can usually be seven figure leasing commissions. So something pretty cool that people don't normally think of, but we will go ahead and add these up to see where it gets us on a 10 year lease. 
once we calculate this, this is the total annual payments over 10 years, the total lease value. So this is how this is calculated on a 10 year lease, you know, 10 bucks a square foot on base rent, 4% increases on 10,000 square feet and a 6% commission. Now, what we started at was a $6,000 commission on a one year lease, but now this has turned into a 10 year lease and that commission is now $72,000. So that is one thing that I think is incredibly interesting and just kind of exciting and fascinating with these longer leases because it's the exact same lease. It's the exact same process. All the work that needs to go into it is, is almost the exact same, but that one number on the lease can take you from a $6,000 commission to a $72,000 commission. Uh, as far as the term, is it a one year term or is it a 10 year term, five year term? Uh, it all varies. Most of our leases are between three and five years, but a pop in 10 year deals are always great. So that is how you break down leasing commissions on these 10 year deals. And guys, these numbers can go buku because like I said before, if this is a, say it's a hundred thousand square foot unit, maybe this is a big box industrial facility and it's 100,000 square foot, yeah, it, it really went gangbusters over here. So obviously these numbers did as well, and you need to be playing at a much higher level in order to do a, you know, a lease with a million dollars in base rent. Like that's a big lease, that's a really big lease, and you really need to be playing at a high level and have crazy high expertise in order to provide that value, in order to receive this value in terms of a commission check. And that's one thing that I think people often get wrong in the business is that they say, hey, I'm going to try and go do this $10 million deal, $5 million deal, or you know, $500,000 leasing commission or something like that. They try and focus on the number of their own payment, not how much value they can provide. And I just think that's a backwards way of looking at real estate, business, and life in general. It's to like be paid something that you're technically not worth. And usually it doesn't work out for you. Usually it doesn't get you there. Uh, I think there's too many people out there trying to take shortcuts, but you know, the way that I've tried to do it and it's hard, I mean, we all probably struggle with it, but we all want to take shortcuts and be there faster, especially playing the comparison game and seeing what other people are doing. But the be the most for sure way to get to something like this is to not take shortcuts and to put in the reps and be able to provide that value. So if you stay consistent and you say, hey, I'm doing the leasing game for industrial big boxes or retail centers or whatever it is for you know five, seven, 10 years, and now all of a sudden you're in the multiple six figures of leasing commissions and probably doing those consistently, it means that you're worth it and you've put in the reps and you've put in the time. So I would just tell you not to take shortcuts and this is exciting and these leasing commissions, you know, it, it's great. But like I said, I would focus on doing more leases. I've done a lot of leases guys that leasing commissions look like that and even smaller. So like I said, I've, I've been fortunate enough to achieve some multiple six figure leasing commissions, but there was a good amount of 3000, 5,000, 10,000 in order to get there. And also, that's not, that's not bad money either. If you can get that, especially if it's more consistently, or you have a leasing assignment for a park or something like that, where you consistently lease units all in all, just don't try and take shortcuts because uh, usually it never works out for people. And the people that really do get there and get to the massive leasing commissions, they usually have put in the time and put in the reps and they can actually provide that value to the market. So that is what we have for this video today. Please like and subscribe to the video if you wanna comment on it and let us know what you wanna hear next time. That will be incredibly helpful. Feel free to break this out for yourself, save it for yourself and be sure to share it with your clients. If you are sharing it with your clients, I would just copy and paste the table like this I would not necessarily put your leasing commission in there. Uh, you don't want to be sleazy about things, but you do want to provide good value to your clients and show them clarity of like, hey, this is what they're getting themselves into when leasing a space. So like I said, like and subscribe to the video if you liked it. And if you didn't, then don't. That's okay. Either way, drop a comment and let us know what you want to hear next time. Peace.